Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. This video is going up on a Monday. So, hope you guys had a good weekend. It is crazy times, but we will have a big week here at the channel, including a live stream later on tonight. We're also going to have a Grand Theft Auto online car show on Wednesday. That's going to be held on the PlayStation 4. Join up if you can. Now, in today's episode, we have to do a follow up on some mysterious lights that we found here in story mode. Now, keep in mind you can find two hidden UFOs. I'll show you them first, but then we found other lights, possible UFOs in the distance. I gotta show you this footage courtesy of Graham, a member of the Trippy fam, and then we'll actually show you where you can find the lights themselves. The White Hair Investigations and Onoruko managed to find the exact lights that we saw in the distance. So thanks again for checking out the episode. Hit the like button. Once again, I hope all you guys are doing well and keeping good vibes. With that said, we'll look at the UFOs right here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Here's the location of the first UFO. This is Ham's Bethel. And this one is pretty obvious. You walk into the cabin, you see skeletons all around. And then the flying saucer comes from above and shines that ominous green light on you. Now the thing that I want to point out is that is the same green light from the Grand Theft Auto 5 UFO. And it's interesting because there's three UFOs in GTA 5, but only two have been discovered in Red Dead Redemption 2 so far. That is the first. You can only see it once. Once it flies away, it is gone forever. And there it goes, into outer space. You may say that the UFOs in Grand Theft Auto 5 are some sort of technology, but there is nothing that exists like that in the era of Red Dead Redemption 2. Huge shout out to Trippy Capinology. He captured this footage when the game was first released. He was actually the first one to get footage of the UFO. Now you can tell it's much smaller. It's in the distance. It doesn't have a light shining on you. Of course you can find it at the top of the mountain. You can only see it once, just like the other UFO. Once you see it, it flies away. It never comes back. So I was expected to see a third UFO. You know, maybe with John Marston towards the end of the game. We still have not found one. He goes in for the closer look. I swear, this one almost looks like a drone. It does not stay around for very long at all. In fact, I'm surprised that it was hovering for as long as it did here. He shoots at it. That's a good way to piss it off, Capinology. It flies away. We have never seen the UFO ever again. So we've been looking for the third UFO. We got the first one right here at the cabin. So where would the third one be? Well, we had a sighting of mysterious lights in the distance. And now we actually found out where you can see it. Here's footage courtesy of Graham. Now I found these same exact lights. At first, I thought they were UFOs. As you can see in the distance, they just hover. They're not stars. They don't travel through the night sky. They're always in the same spot, just past San Denis. So a huge shout out to Graham. This is excellent footage. He got it extremely clear. And ever since I found them, many people have been reaching out saying they saw the same exact lights. Could they be the third and fourth UFOs? There they are, guys. Let me know what you think. Much love to Anaruko, White Hair Investigations. She managed to solve exactly what the lights are. So as you can see, if you look from this location, and you look all the way past St. Denis, across the Lanahatchee River, you see two lights right above the tree line in the distance. So using the angle or the direction of that I was viewing, I drew a, li a line of sight across the entire map so we'd know where to investigate. So with the help of J. Lash, she was helped the white hair investigation on numerous occasions. We traveled all the way around the map and got to this specific location, which is almost in line with the line of sight. And as you can see, it's just a big empty open field out in the middle of nowhere outside of the map. So what we did is we stayed here and waited for nightfall to see if we could see the light. Now thanks to J-Lash we have some really good pictures here of the lights uh, in the field before we actually get up to them. One thing to keep in mind is the closer you get to these lights the dimmer they get. So from the starting position here in the field you can see they're really really bright but in the next part of the video you'll see they're kind of dim and they're a little bit hard to see close up. So as night fell you could actually see the light show up. Now I've taken a few stills of the actual video and circled the lights that were actually so that way you'll know what you're actually looking for as the video plays. Here we are. This is me and my trusted horse Morai. We're going to be investigating the lights. Now they do hover above the ground. Uh, they are one behind the other in a north-south 
uh, alignment. That's why anytime from the ground or from a distance, you'll always see two of them because you're always going to look at them from an angle. Uh, the closer you get, the dimmer they get. That's why uh, from the location up on the hill, you can see them that far away. It's because the further away you get, the brighter they get. And just walk going around them here shows they are stationary in one specific location. And here we have the exact location of where the lights are located outside of the map. So that way if you ever want to adventure out there and see them for yourself, you'll know where you're headed. What are the lights in the distance? I think that is crazy. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is it a deleted structure? Maybe UFOs or maybe something else? Huge shout out again to Ana Ruko. I'll put a link in the description to her channel. Do me a massive favor. Make sure to show her some love. She has excellent investigative skills. Who knows what she'll solve for us in the future. Much love, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned. Hit the like button. It really helps out the video. Live stream later on tonight. Hit the notification button. I'll see you guys there. But until then, as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?